So guys, the Fighters Pass has been quite cool so far. I mean, we got some characters like Joker, Hero, and Terry and all that. And while we're still waiting for the Fight 5th character to get announced sometimes next month and all that. But really, while we're, while we're doing that, we're still expecting the next batch of DLC characters that is coming out throughout 2020. Since there was an announcement of more DLC characters after... The fifth fighter gets released and beyond the fighters pass. I I mean I'm hyped for it and all that. But the thing is, we're not entirely sure if there's gonna be another fighters pass or not. And people are speculating if it's gonna be another pass or not. So today, guys, I'm gonna be talking about a concept of how a fighter pass, another fighters pass, could work. And let me give out a brief disclaimer before you guys get in the comments. I'm only doing this just for fun and entertainment. I'm not saying there's going to be another Fighters Pass since I kind of heard that Sakurai never liked the pass. Since they act since fans do not know what the character is and we want to know who the character is before we even get the buy-in and all that. So really, I'm only doing this for fun. But really, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Well, before we get started, because speaking of the fifth fighter, recently, um, like not too long ago, Papa Gino's made a video talking about uh, the character reveal release release um, like reveal date confirmed and what is he talking about well Papa Gino was, was talking about the Twitter account of the Game Awards Twitter user because recently they tweeted this anyone remember when Joker infiltrated the theater last year and they were talking about the like the announcement of Joker being the mo being the first DLC character to get announced as far as the P fighters pass which blew everyone's mind including mine as well Really, so could this be hinting the fifth DLC character? Well, to be honest, yes. Since there was no character announcement during Terry's, Terry Boga's presentation and all that, and and really, guys, the Game Awards is kind of pretty much a is pretty much a good thing since they might be saving the fifth character for that. Not only that, guys. Not only we're waiting for the Game Awards that's coming out next month, we're also going to be waiting. We're also going to be celebrating Smash Ultimate's one year anniversary on December 7th. So, so yeah, that's double hype for all of us. So, really, let's all get hype. So, let's get started with this. So, really, that, now that's all out of the way, let's get started with this concept. So, as you can see here, I'm actually back at my desk. So, really, I just kind of want to do a bit of a change for now. So, really, um, it's nothing much. So, let's just, let's just get started with one thing that people have been talking about. A bonus character. Now, re now last year we had Piranha Plant as being the first downloadable content, but as a free DLC character. And the only way you can actually get Piranha Plant is that if you actually either get it digitally or physically. Digitally, you you can get the game on the shop, and not only that, you'll also get an email that contains a code from Nintendo. The other way around is the retail, which is physically. If you get the physical version of Smash Ultimate, and you, if you have the cartridge in, press the plus button, go to the My Nintendo Rewards, click your profile, and, and well, receive gold po points first, click your profile, and then you'll get an email. T to be honest, guys, it took, um, it took me like two months to get the code. Now it's until I realized I just had to change something, that's all. And, I mean, it, I, mean I was kind of a bit... Like, kind of frustrated a bit, but still. But hey, I got the plank, though. Though, the code only will last until June 20th, 2019. It's past June, so... So, if you guys wanted the product plan, you sadly just gotta pay forty four ninety nine for that character, sadly. So, as you can see here, of how this second bonus fighter could, could possibly work, is one thing. You can only get the character unless you actually bought the Fighters Pass before February 29th, 2020. Since that is what it says right here, that all packs will be, will be released by February 2020, which would make sense. But really, guys, um, but, but as you can see here, I have chose three specific characters that would be a bonus character. Being Geno from Mario RPG, or, Mario, or the Mario series, respectively. Violet from Fire Emblem 3 Houses, the recent Fire Emblem protagonist, and Adeline and Riven. And I want to talk about some reasons. Now, Gino, most of us won Gino. Me personally, now these are my personal opinions, so please do not attack me in the comments. Gino would be a cool character. 
And most of us love Gino because, I mean, to be honest, he's one of the impossible four. The three, uh, the three other characters are Banjo Kazooie, King K. Rool, and Ridley. Gino is like the only character left to be in, as part of the impossible four. And Reese and I did made a video talking about this though. That I talking about something about Gino having a copyright problem. If you do not know what I'm talking about, then go check it out if you really want to know my whole explanation. But also, guys, I also want to talk about something else. Is that Mario... Sure, Mario is the huge video game character of all time. And Gino being a Mario character, even though he's a third-party character... Because if he was adding to Smash, I'm not sure how the community would feel. Because we got, like, over 10 Mario characters... And, uh, unless you include Yoshi and Donkey Kong, well, and Wario and all that. But having Gino could possibly, I'm not sure how to feel, but these are only my personal opinions. So, either if Gino gets in Smash, I mean, most of us want the character, most of us want Gino, especially Sakurai, but still. But still, these are only my personal opinions. Violet, however, is pretty much getting a lot of hate, only because that we have like a million Fire Emblem characters in Smash. I would understand that, but to, to be honest, him being a bonus character could possibly be a good idea. If I mean, to be honest, though, even though he's a bonus character, people will still hate it because it's a Fire Emblem character. But I'm saying this could be a good thing because remember when Korn was announced as like the as one of the last two DLC characters alongside Bayonetta for Smash Wii U and 3DS's DLC? Well, well, Korn was basically pay like paid DLC. Well, by while well, Violet could possibly be an easy easy thing because to be honest to be honest having a bonus character would just be would be something good since we don't won't have to pay another sword fighter character now we're gonna talk about adeline and ribbon now adeline and ribbon are basically a painter as a painter or something and ribbon is basically like a fairy in somewhat i never i rarely play kirby games i apologize i don't know much about kirby sadly but really guys i put her in this list because as you can see here Kirby only has three characters representative. I'm surprised they didn't, they didn't put Bandana Wallaby in there. And not only that, um, because the last time, the last newcomers we ever had was back in Brawl. So it's been over like a decade ever since we got newcomers from a Kirby game. From like Kirby series, sadly. And I'm surprised they didn't put characters like Bandana Wallaby or like, I can't remember, like, or Adeline and Ribbon. Those two would have been great. But really, guys, I put their, so really, guys. Hope you hope you guys what hope you guys enjoyed this bonus character idea. But let's talk about the entire fighter con fighter pass concept. Now, as you can see here, we obviously got five characters. Now, five will be a good batch. Ten, no, that will take at least one to two years to for like for a making. But really, guys, this could be a good thing because to be honest, because there has been a whole rumor talking about the whole sixteen dummy slots and all that. And having five as, like, the, being the final five would possibly be a good idea, to be honest. But really, these are just my personal opinions. As you can see here, each challenger pack includes one fighter, one stage, and, and additional music tracks. I mean, hey, Terry has, like, a million, has, like, over f 20 of them for, for some reason. I mean, I mean, I'm kind of feel, I'm feeling bad for Cloud for some reason because he has two music while Terry gets all the glory for some reason. And as you can see here, DLC packs will be available for additional purchase for five ninety nine. I mean, don't, don't, what confuses me is that why would Prior Plan cost four ninety nine if he doesn't have anything? While the fighters, while the challenger packs has literally like has a lot of content. But really, guys. But the thing is, what would what what would these characters be? Well, Sakurai said that there's gonna be characters from from more from more games. Well, to be honest, I remember that Sakurai said that more characters means more character, well, more gaming worlds collided. That would be a good thing because we because we could get my boy Sora in there. I mean, come on, Sora and Smash, Sora for Smash in the Commons. But really, guys, this is the whole thing because we, I mean, we're already expecting like more characters to be added, and Sakurai promises that he will not take any breaks. And not only that, he will keep adding until until there's no more fighters. That's what he said. That's what pushed us and translated. But really, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and what do you think of this whole concept of a bonus of a second bonus character? 
and like this whole Fighters Pass concept. But the thing is, I like, but the, really, guys, this discla another disclaimer like I said in the beginning of the video, this is only just for fun, so don't take it seriously. And let me know what you guys like, which like, let me know which character you want if there's gonna be another Fighters Pass. And also let me know, guys, if there's going to be another character reveal, which is the fifth character to be announced next month. Do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments. And not only that, hope you let me know if you're hype for Smash, Brothers, Smash Ultimate's one-year anniversary. And really, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend... Always a legend.